When you live on the water, particularly on inland waterways, there's a lot of dark, murky stuff that goes on. And people chuck things in the canal thinking they won't see them again. And of course they do, they, they come to the surface. Does it not spoil your view of the canal and your... No, it's my home. Do you know much about the woman that was killed? Well, this latest one, the, the one in the, in the, was it? There was one in a shopping trolley, came off the bridge up there, and there's another one just been found in a suitcase, is that right? Yeah. Mm. No, I don't know anything about it. No, I just heard on the grapevine there'd been another one found. And uh, that was it. I don't know who it is or what the circumstances were. And you're not interested to know, to know that? Well, interested in a way, yes, if I get any more gossip, but um, I'm not going to make an effort to find out. Because, poor soul, she's dead. about the murder it was tough because it was just outside and it's just kind of here I didn't really want it even know where I'm using the canal all the time so I didn't kind of my emotions kind of close you know I don't want to be part of that despite the fact I'm here I don't know if this makes sense hmm The lady, they found her in the suitcase. She was poly, so she was kind of one of me, you know? Which is even made sadder that this, I mean, I don't know. I probably would feel more comfortable when she wasn't Polish. Mm. What was your 
instant initial reaction when you discover the situation. Honestly, I have to say I wasn't really too bothered. Um, there's a lot of things happened around here, so it was just another event in a list of events and things that happen. Would it have been different if you would have been physically close to that event, if you would have discovered the body, for example? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I work in security and I work in security in a hotel and part of your job occasionally is to go and look for dead people, so absolutely there's an emotional connection then, you're, you're directly involved, you're, you're part of the story, you're part of the hotel, you're part of, you're part of the life of what's going on and here it's close but it's not, it's not emotionally close. But I know they're Eastern European and then I look at the hotel and the people I'm working with, they're Eastern European, they've come here to live a better life and it ends, it ends brutally for the victim and then for the perpetrator, just where are you that you do something like that? Just, just where have you gone? Which, which part of this city have you suddenly occupied or which part of yourself have you suddenly occupied? That's, you know, for all of us that's a you know, I should think hopefully a terrifying thing to, con to, to contemplate. One day you're a couple and the next day you're a murderer and a victim. The person who did that, he left the luggage two miles away from here. So this luggage with this person was, was floating from where the guy left to here. It's like no one cares about it, isn't it? No one didn't think about what is inside this luggage, why this luggage is floating in the water. Did you ever feel like you were with men over here just to feel like to be with somebody so you weren't alone? Did you ever? Yes, yeah, yeah. It's like a searching for a um, good person to be on your side. So when I first came here, I came as a student. And, um, and I didn't have any family relative or a friend. So the friends I, I have, it's the one I just knew them at the time. And the lonely you feel when you are here, it's very deep. It's like you evaluating money more than a family, more than feelings, more than love. Later. Later you do your homework. Nossa, vai lá e senta na, na mesa que eu vou trazer um leite pra você. Você quer suco ou leite? Leite. Morno ou frio? When you first heard about the, the murder, what was your initial reaction? 
Well, due to past experiences, I blanked it out. I didn't want to know. What do you mean you blanked it out? When you get sexually attacked, you are frightened. And you takes a long time to get over the fear. And then certain things have flashbacks. And you, you, you go back there for a second or two, and then you think, no, straighten up and fly right. Which one's you, Georgina? They're all me. Why did you change your appearance? I didn't change it a lot. I just got the hair cut and changed the clothes. When you get people like that, he smelt to high heaven. He got, he was awful. He smelt. He caught me round the throat, pulled me backwards, so I couldn't, I couldn't get a hold on him. He kept me moving. I felt dirty. And this was the first thing you thought about when you heard about the murder? I'm not thinking of that, but that came into it, you know. I don't want to know because I know what I've already been through and I know how I had to strip myself up. But that woman didn't have the chance to straighten up Flora. She, she was dead. I wasn't. Okay, you can take it off. Just uh, an ordinary couple, aren't they? By, by all counts. He's a bit smart, actually, with his hair like that. Shaved at the side and his... His spiky top there. He's like a dozen people I work with every day. Both of them, actually. It's very real. I wish I will feel sadder. Why? I don't know, I think kind of... It's just a photo. I don't really kind of see this as a something real. Please receive her with your bless. Hold her because she has been suffered a lot. I know her soul is with you right now. Please embrace this lady and have a mercy for this man. Amen. Do you have any desire to see an image of the of the girl? Not really, no. No. I think I've probably seen so much that I'm not really interested anymore. <laughs>